Hello everybody, it's Tammy and welcome back to my craft room here at Creative Girl Vintage. So today's video is about feeling inspired. I've got um, a lot of little vintage pieces laying around here and I like to shop my craft room occasionally, bring things out, and I thought today we could make some little vintage assemblages and using something simple as box lids. And um, these really turn out cute. We're gonna fill them up and, and decorate them. And um, you know, just, just one of those things that if you got some things knocking around you don't know what to do with, maybe this will inspire you. And also, uh, one of my subscribers, her name is Julie, she told me she had a collection of vintage butter pats and she has a little antique booth. They're not really selling just as butter pats. And she wondered if I had maybe some ideas of what she could do with them so we'll do that and I have a couple other ideas to share too so I hope you enjoy today's video so stick around let's feel inspired with some fun vintage assemblages okay so our first step is to prepare our lids to hold the good stuff okay so basically I just grabbed an acrylic paint. This was light mocha was the color. It was kind of creamy white. It's just what I had. And I painted my lid. And then I grabbed a, an, an acrylic gold metallic. Took my paintbrush and just went around the edge. Let it all dry. See how pretty that looks on this one with just that little gold trim. So I thought that was a nice little touch. You can leave this natural too. The sky's the limit on the colors that you can use. So after that is dried and ready, then you're ready for a hanger. And we can do that a couple of different ways. So let me show you. Um, you can grab a ribbon or some jute, lay that on the back like so. Go just like this. And with any glue, you can just grab your glue gun, go under there, glue these ribbons down. And then you would have basically this look on the front for hanging. So you'd have like that little loop hanger right there. Um, let me show you how to do the wire hanger. So, you know, hanging it on the wall, you're not really gonna have anything at the top, okay? So let's do that one real quick. Put something down to protect your surface and I'm gonna grab my little awl. You guys know I'm always pulling this out and using it. It's a really inexpensive, great tool to have in your craft room. So I'm just going to pick a little spot right here, kind of close close to the top, but not right, not right on there on that crease, but right below it. And let's just put like two little holes like so. Okay. So we have two little holes I'm kind of poking through. Let me maybe make them a little bigger here. Okay. Our two little holes. Now grab some wire. And, you know, I've told you guys before, please don't laugh at my industrial roll of wire here. I'm going to cut off, a, cut off a little snip. And, you know, you can find wire in all gauges and colors at the craft store. It's in the jewelry section. Get something that has a little oomph to it. Like, this isn't super heavy, but it's not that real fine um, wire either. I'm going to stick this right in these two holes like so. Push it through. Let's see, we're coming through here. You can kind of get this where you feel is a good little loop for hanging. Like, I think that's nice, like that. And then just kind of bend it over, like so. Okay. Now I have really, really a lot extra here. So let me just do a little, a little trim. My wire cutters, get rid of some of that bulky excess. And then I'm just going to push this down. And you can just for a little extra security if you want. Just hit it. Hit it with your glue gun. Just for a little added strength there. We're going to be covering that up so for the most part it will never come out. So there is a way to make a cute little wire hanger for the back. All right, now we get to fill it up. So this one here, I had um, some ruffled lace that um, I had coffee dyed. I thought it went really pretty with this project here. I just took my hot glue gun and went all around the edges of this. And, and this one, I thought it just really looked super good with that little baby deer. This one here, look what I have. Isn't this pretty? 
and I'm going to pop this right inside, right here, like so. Okay, now if you're putting something in your little collage lid like this, um, make sure you take a little extra scrap of lace, fabric, or whatever, and just cover this wire. This is covering it. It's not going to be seen, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to use my Fabrifix glue on this and glue it down inside. Let me tell you where I found this doily. So um, my husband and I were out on bulk garbage night. Yes, I do love bulk garbage night and you're probably not surprised so anyway we're going by this this one house and uh, there's all this furniture and all this stuff and there was this vintage pink like laundry hamper and my husband sells at the flea market sometimes too and he's like look at that cool laundry hamper so we stopped inside of it you guys this is no joke there was um three vintage tablecloths and a whole bunch of this stuff um, I was like, oh, come on, seriously, this is just so good. And I brought it all home and laundered it and it's, it's all beautiful. So, um, you know, I feel really good about saving, saving it from the landfill. That's for sure. Okay. Isn't that so pretty? All right. More pretty stuff coming. So in my, in my vintage collection of old photographs, I found this one. And she is so pretty. And all around her, it's embossed with little cherubs and a garland of roses. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's so, so pretty. So I would lay that right down here. And doing that, I'd kind of make, kind of take note of where my hanger is so everything is straight when it goes to the wall. Okay. And then I would grab this is isn't this so pretty this is just an old broken earring from the flea market i'm going to pop that in there and then oh you guys this is here let me put that one back in there so you could see all of them in here this is a little box this is paris on it and look what's inside is that is that just the cutest thing ever so i have this tiny little perfume bottle here and um there's no perfume in this one but there's definitely perfume in those and i'm gonna lay that like right here so pretty right and then I was at the flea market one day and this man he had a whole bunch of villain millinery like he'd pulled it off all the old hats and he just threw it on his table and I knew he didn't care about it but oh my gosh I was caring about it big time so I bought all that and we can pop that in just like so and so last week um if you guys were um watching me make my cottage butterflies with the butterfly bundle which are still available in my Etsy shop, by the way. And if you missed that video, I'm going to link it both below because that was just a fun video. Um, but there was a little sheet that I made that had a lot of different words on it that you can put on your butterflies. So I had some extra. So this says grace, and I thought that would be pretty just to lay right there. So look at this, you guys. I'm not gluing anything down and committing to this yet. So I just kind of wanted to put it together just to show you how if you have these little things that you've collected and, you know, you're just, you're not sure what to do with them, you know, just start putting them together like this. It's so pretty, isn't it? Okay. I have a few more things to show you. You know, I really didn't talk about this one. So real quick, um, this one here has the little flock deer and a piece of vintage jewelry, these old flowers, lily of the valley, a lot of old lace. There's some uh, beautiful floral fabric in the background, buttons, bits of lace, old pink button there. I love the way this one turned out. This one's just a sweet uh, with the little alphabet letters. I love that. Okay, so more inspiration. You know, we, in the beginning of the video, I talked about Julie and her butter pats, okay? So I was thinking, you know, this is a fun little way you can really put anything together too. This is just a piece of um, a round, unfinished piece of wood. It's like four inch diameter. I would probably paint this, maybe paint it white and uh, put a hanger on it. Just like when we did the, the ribbon hanger, I would do that probably for the back. And um, so now, now my husband, my husband is a bottle digger, antique bottle collector his whole life. So he digs um, a lot of vintage butter pats out of the ground. They're, they're buried with all that old restaurant china. And so I usually have a ton of them. I couldn't find one. So I did find this one. I think this is one I got at the flea market. But this will do for today for just kind of a little, our little show and tell here. So I would think I would probably 
put this right here. Maybe get out my rubber stamps, put home sweet home or blessed or, or, or just any little saying that's special to you. Here's the one that said grace. We'll just kind of put that on. You can put on with paper. Um, you can use, of course, the alphabet beads. You can lay them around here. That would be pretty as well. I would glue that on. Maybe take a little snip of lace and just start layering things and a little bouquet of flowers say a little ribbon and then if you want something really cute this is just look at him isn't he cute I mean all his paints missing but he's adorable you know just lay that on like that and uh, Julie had mentioned she owned uh, an antique she was uh, selling in an antique booth so wouldn't your customers love that I mean you know they go in there to buy all the vintage but yet you've put together like really cute little assemblages for them I mean that would be really special this makes great gifts and you know everybody loves something special like that in vintage all right let me show you one more thing this is a box lid I don't know where the bottom is, but this top is a really good one. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to throw a piece of, this is from an old tablecloth or something crocheted. I would put the wire hanger on this one like we did on the um, other ones. This right here, um, now like I told you, my husband, the bottle collector, um, he had bought a box of stuff from some guy, and this was in there, this lavender compound. And, of course, I glommed it as quick as I could out of the box. I put some little lavender buds in there and a ribbon, and let's just lay that right there. Out of my vintage photo collection, I've got this pretty little lady, and we're going to lay her right there. And then we have some dried flowers here. How cute, right? So you see where this is going? We're going to stick our dried lavender right in there. And I love the black on this. The, the black look with this, too, I think is really pretty. Now, you know, last week we talked about the butterfly bundle. And um, so here's a butterfly left over from last week. And I thought, oh, yes, we can just stick our little butterfly. Here, let me move you over a little bit. How about if we stick our little butterfly right there? How about that, you guys? Is that not the best using a little box lid, right? Now, you know, when I do my videos, I make a lot of stuff. And I haven't sold any of it. It's all just kind of going into a little box. So I wanted to let you guys know I am going to have a sale one of these days. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it all listed. And all of this stuff that I make is going to be for sale. So if you want to know when that's going to happen, follow me over on my Instagram page at Creative Girl Vintage. I'll put a link below. I always announce there like a date and time that I'm going to be popping everything in my shop and then I'm having a big sale. So I would love, you know, for you guys not to miss that. And uh, yeah, all this stuff. I mean, I have stuff left from when we did Valentine projects over here and, you know, fairy journals and all that kind of thing. I know you guys like all that. So, you know, I will definitely put that all up for sale, including this stuff here too. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I always enjoy our craft time together. I hope you were inspired to like pull out some of your little stuff or when you're out and about and you see little stuff, just collect it. And, you know, you'll end up being able to put together really cute little things like this look at how cute this would look if you just did like on your on a wall and you did like a little vignette of um just like darling little vignette of of assemblages little collages isn't that so sweet all right thank you guys and have a beautiful day and i will see you soon on our next video bye for now